Hey guys, and today I'm gonna show you some VCV React tips that I discovered recently. So this is the first one. A new module from Flag Oppressor is uh, actually can be really nice mastering output tool for pressing signal and add some analog behavior or also uh, decrease excessive dynamic range and tame some mid-range unwanted boomness and so on. So let me show you on a graphic what's actually uh, going with the frequency response. So as you can see the range is working like a mix knob in this case and it adds a slight down curve at 100 gers like an old school compressor coloring compressors and the sense actually also having deal with the frequency curve and attack at decreasing attacks at some distortion to a low end obviously as many compressors work and release also a uh, little destroyed um, curve of the module. But on practice, it's not something obvious, it's just better to hear what's going on. So here is, is the patch. And here is my switch to bypass it. You can now hear a subtle changes to balance between instruments and something adds to the kick. Let's add some click to it without. It just allows you to better separate uh, the sounds and I highly recommend to use it from the beginning on your patch. You get instant clarity in your mix and the space to add more instruments or more wipe to your mix. Let's decrease an attack. It's just going to be mad, but as a special effect or for some patches, may be pretty suitable. It really increases the overall speed of the track. Okay, range is more like a mix knob. And sense really turning down the compressor power. Now this is obvious difference. So it adds a pump to the sound and due to multiband nature it um, actually works kind of famous Golfos, Wisti plugins and so on. Very nice tool to have a beginning on your patch and if you don't like the wipe you can actually change uh, the turn up the release to decrease the sensitivity of the bands. So now the behavior of compression is not pretty different from the initial one, but you can still have better separation between the end. Very nice find, very nice module. Thanks for that. And let's move to the next tip. and it's a combining two envelopes. So let me show you what exactly is going on in practice. So uh, let's take an example. You have a two slabs with slightly different settings, short attack, slow attack, and different behavior of the curve. 
uh, slab is uh, have pretty nice difference between a soft and gentle and uh, I'd like to recommend to patch them both through this uh, same gate input and then take uh, something crossfade mixture like a book audio x fade and process the output straight and then modulate the mix parameter with an LFO uh, whatever you like actually and you give some um, results like this so you get a really complex envelope uh, in my case, I use it through the VCA uh, with punch, like uh, modulating CV, so I don't take the output of the audio, but take the output from this envelope out, and you still uh, get the same result sonically, but on practice you may be better uh, wiggling with the audio. So, as a result, the same sequence, uh, same pattern uh, can be different in time and uh, less annoying in the long run. The faster you will modulate this mix knob, the more wobbly rhythms you can get. You can see on this graphic what's going on. Uh, let's reset uh, as a reset to our BPM LFOs. Very nice. So you can experiment with a different envelope generator or VCAs. Uh, to get the result you want, just a basic approach is to try and mix different envelopes to get a more complex result. You can get pretty mad with the shape master with mixing uh, envelopes you track by yourself and apply some warping. Uh, so it's pretty uh, complex result comes in. So that was tip number two, and next tip is uh, advanced uh, key tracking by enabling a scaling method to, from the input voltage. So in practice, when you have a quantized sequence, you actually get pretty low difference between low and high voltage. Each, uh, and you like to apply some modulation to these parameters, you wouldn't get so much difference. You hear some little modulation, but if you take this amazing bulk audio offset module and just turn up the scale, you actually multiply uh, the envelope without messing the initial point of it. So this is how it looks on graphic. It's actually the same envelope, but you can get pretty, um, pretty nice point what the difference between them. It's actually multiplied by by eight and seven point point seven, and you can also make the offset. But it's more likely you're uh, wiggling uh, this offset in the module itself. But our goal is a K-tracking in this particular video. So... Yeah, just add a scale. This is with a basic scale coming from DivSec. You still hear the difference, but they are not obvious. And with the maximum scale, you can get pretty kind of huge sample and hold range between the voltages. And you can actually tame the square waves with a 
Bocaudio slew or any slew you want. And uh, in this case key tracking can really change the approach of it. get a pretty nice complex variation, big variations between the incoming nodes. So and the last tip in this video is about frequency sequencing. Kind of experimental tip but it's still here. So I just pass uh, the palette input through the failure fabric and it separates, it can separate signal to the low, mid and high parts and then I apply output to the 10T fifth splice, the best uh, sequential switch for the audio because it has a anti-click thing that's called slew and different modes for the trigger you can uh, modulate with a uh, sample and hold or something stuff like that so this is a clean sound from the palette just fast sequence with slight modulation this is what's come from Feller Fabric main output. It also modulates. Sometimes I can actually use only Feller Fabric to uh, achieve an equalizer filtering approach, but at this time I just use uh, separate outputs from Feller Fabric to um, five splice to get something like a multi-band multi sidechain compression. The result is obvious groovy and you can change um, amount of um, frequency of changing the splices. For example, let's take a different one. So it's like a seamless switching between different filters. Very nice. This is an, an original and this is just from filler fabric modulated output. So yeah, it's very vibey. You can experiment with different filters, different parameters of triggering. This is just a basic approach that you can get a different spectrum and just take it to the 8 splice and get a nice result. You can actually use a filter bank, but results can be not so punchy and clear because it cuts very deeply. But let's just try it. In initial preset we have already um, some frequencies. And by now we're just messing with uh, uh, mid frequency content. Let's change that behavior. You can get resonance stuff with bandwidth at zero point. Pretty nice with effect. Should be pretty nice. Of course you can modulate it. So yeah, that was all my fresh tips uh, just as discarded this week. Thank you for watching guys, uh, you can always support me on Patreon and get this very rec related stuff, something like as patches. So thank you for watching guys, see you next time.